Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We have an exciting, I guess, video for you guys today. Justin and I, you probably think we're a little crazy, but we love you guys, so that's what we do for you. But first, I wanna give a shout out to our 10,000 new subscribers we got last week. Our Russian speaking comrades, man, we love you guys. We're so glad you guys are here on this channel. And the way they got to us was by the Russian channel Zebra, which I think if I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher it, but Zoibra, I'm not sure. Anyways, they translated a couple of our videos into Russian for our Russian speaking fans. And it just kind of went crazy. So welcome to the family for all our Russian speaking friends out there. Here's what we got for you today. We got sent these really cool rounds. These are Israeli tear gas rounds. This is what the projectile looks like out of the round. Just a tiny little thing. Anyways, these were made for only one year, 1961. And not sure why they discontinued these. Maybe the Geneva Protocol was like, oh no man, that, that's nasty because it's gas type thing. But here's what we're gonna do for you guys today. So, first thing we did is I remelted some clear ballistics gel. We put some horse bones in it. Eh, I think I left it in the oven too long. I got too many bubbles. But we're gonna shoot it from this side here come this way just to see what it does in some ballistic gel so we'll try to shoot it so where you can see it then we got this little house thing made up here if you want to come over here so he's gonna shoot through the window and hit this rock wall and we just want to see what it looks like uh, inside of a house sort of speak if it was to hit a hard surface in the house and then the last thing we're gonna do is this right here We're not gonna shoot Justin, who is in the car. Say hi, Justin. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot through the windshield a couple rounds. We got a hardened surface on the driver's seat. And then Justin and I are gonna jump in the car and see if these things still have any potency to them. They are 59 years old, so. Okay, so first we're gonna shoot the ballistic gel, but we do have the chronograph set up so we can see how fast these rounds actually travel. So, here we go. All right, we're gonna be shooting the Israeli tear gas rounds through the, uh, the Desert Tech MDRX. Right, that was cool on the slow motion it actually flipped the block here not only that we didn't we thought it was a piece of wood but uh, look at the size of the bone piece that it freaking blew out man he shot in right here and then you can see the path right through there the size of the hole right here and the bone fragments, it just, just tore it up. I don't know if that's some of the uh, bone or if that's some of the gas stuff mixed. Once it first went off, we could smell it. It did go through this bone. Then it also went through this bone here. You can see a piece of the uh, casing right there and then didn't go all the way through and it stopped right there down towards the bottom. There it is. It was also cool to see how much of our roof of our little makeshift house actually bowed. That was crazy. So we're gonna get set up now. Justin's gonna shoot through the window and we're gonna see what kind of pattern or something it has. Hopefully it won't blow through my little makeshift rocks here. These are just those 
fake fireplace rock. It is cement, but we'll see. But we'll just see what kind of pattern it makes inside this little area here. So here we go. All right, we're gonna do the tear gas rounds versus a modern style home that we built. Tiny home. All right, that was pretty cool, Justin. Did double tap here, right through the window. And I didn't expect the rock to blow out, but it did blow out on one, and it hit the other here. Come check that out, Rachel. Oh, there you go. Hello. I guess your um, fake rock walls around your fireplaces and stuff are not gonna save your life. <laughs> Looks like it'll blow right through there for a 308. So as you can see on the slow motion, the dust that was in here, we didn't get over here fast enough to kind of give it the sniff test, but I think most of it was just dust from the rock. Could have been from the tear gas, we don't know. But what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go over to the car here. Again, Justin's got three rounds this time. He's gonna pop through the windshield, and then both he and I are gonna jump in the car. We got different camera angles set up, and. Um, We'll see. We're also going to do the chronograph too, see how fast these are going. So here we go. All right, now we're going to bust a few rounds through the of the Israeli tear gas rounds to the windshield of this here car and then crawl inside. Should be a fun experience. I thought these things were a joke. That burns so bad. Oh, man. That does burn. Huh. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Your eyes are so red. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe we should have just done one. <laughs> oh, it's totally worth it. My nose is on fire. Let's go back in. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in. I don't think there's anything left. My face is burning. Oh. God. That stuff burns. Oh, God. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> oh, it's still kind of residual. Ah, dang, man. Mama. <laughs> it's making me cry. So they worked. They worked real well. Man. This worked way better than I thought. 59 years old and they still work, dude. I didn't think there would be that much <laughs> agent in there. Holy hell. And now we need to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> God knows what we sucked in there. You know the Israelis are going, oh, them poor Americans. They're so stupid. We did that for you, though. All right. Those rounds are really no joke. That wasn't a, a play or nothing. They really did burn the crap out of our eyes. Justin had to go change his contacts. He brought some solution out. We were <laughs> dumping it in our eyes so we could see again. So three shots here, one hit up in the top. If you wanna come around here, it obviously shattered once it hit the hardened surface. And then looks like a ricochet back here, hit on the tack. 
and then up here you can see where the one round rip through then we put this blocker up here because we just wanted to make sure that the rounds would go off so it went through this went through the board and kept going right out the back window. <laughs> Pretty crazy. All right, so those Israeli tear gas rounds work good. This was not a play or nothing. Um, I gotta get me some more of those just to have a few on hand. But check out our Instagram page. We usually post pictures of some rounds that we're gonna be using in upcoming videos and other stuff like that. We're also going to start a Patreon page, so if you sign up for it, you can get a preview of the videos before they come out, bloopers, giveaways, and stuff like that. That'll be up and running here in a little bit. But we just, again, thank you guys. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back. My eyes, my, the skin on my face is still burning. Ah, I need to flush my eyeballs. Me too. <laughs> I'm recording everything. That's okay. I gotta, I gotta flush my eyes. Oh, oh. that didn't help.